Hey guys. <laughs> so, this is something. I've been able to accomplish one of my life goals lately. Having long hair and a ponytail. <sighs> Only life were that simple I could actually have that, but. <sighs> so, tonight I watched the 2021 musical, Everybody's Talking About Jamie, which is, sorry, I thought I was going to sneeze. I still feel like I'm about to sneeze. It's about a 16-year-old boy, Jamie New, who wants to be a drag queen. I gotta say, this movie is bloody spectacular, mate. <laughs> Yeah, every, the movie was just so amazing. I love the performances from Max Harwood, Richard E. Grant. Hold on. Oh, and also, if you want to see, I did a Twitter post about the film, if you want to see. But yeah, the Jamie... The cast in the Jamie film is just nothing short but brilliant. I want to say, um, um, Laura Patel is just spectacular as Britty. I mean, the friend, the chemistry between Max and Lauren is just outstanding. It really gives you the feeling that they're best friends. I like that. Sarah Lancashire, hope I'm pronouncing that right, was also really good as um, Jamie's mother. And um, Ralph Ainey's son is just, he does a good job playing the um, not so good father. Everyone else, like, that's, it's, it's really cool. Now, let's talk about the musical numbers. <laughs> the musical numbers in the film. Oh my gosh, they went all out for it. Like, for a while, um, before seeing the film, I had thoughts like, I wonder what the musical scenes are going to be like. Turns out they were just spectacular, colorful, eye-popping. Oh my gosh. This, the musical number, and you don't even know it. I love the whole purple, pink, blue lighting in like some of the song, in some of the song. It's just, oh, that's some gorgeous lighting. That's the kind of lighting I'm trying to get for my films. I'm just still trying to cross that bridge on getting it there. But thankfully I found some inspiration for that. That's really cool. And um, oh yeah, I love the everybody's talking about Jamie number where all the kids at school were talking about Jamie. As well as like, um, hold on. Oh shoot, I forgot his name. Um, Hugo's song. It's a heartbreaking one as well as um, my little boy, I think that's what it is. Yeah, those are just some devastating songs. And you really do get the feels if you, if you actually did, I don't, I don't know. Uh, yeah. So like, it's a movie with spectacular performances, spectacular visuals, a great aesthetic. Yeah, I, I love the British aesthetic of this film. I mean, I love British aesthetics no matter what. Everybody's talking about Jamie's is a spectacular musical. Probably one of the best of recent times, along with West Side Story and Tick Tick Boom. And I hope we get more like that. I'm just up for it. Now there is something I want to talk about regarding the film. No, actually wait, it's not about the film, but it's more about how it was released. It's just 
a shame we never got to see this film in theaters. So for those who don't know, Everybody's Talking About Jamie was originally going to be released in theaters by 20th Century Studios. And it was produced by Regency Enterprises, who's had a long relationship with 20th. But when, the, when Disney got a hold of 20th, it was, they, it caused some like questions and concerns regarding some of the deals that Fox had set up, such as Regency Enterprise, TSG Entertainment, Churnin Entertainment, um, Maximum Effort, so, around the time when this film got sold off to Amazon, it was unclear if 20th and Regency were still going to be together in their partnership. Thankfully, last December, they renewed the deal, and we got films like Deepwater, Barbarian, and Amsterdam, but if Disney held on to it, if they could have extended the deal earlier, or just delayed the film till later of this year, then we could have gotten to see the film the way it was supposed to be. But I, I'm still happy we even have it, the film. I'm just, I'm just glad everyone get, can see it and see how marvelous it is. It's something to be talked about. I mean, I guess everyone, when it did come out, everyone was talking about Jamie. Go figure. <laughs>